Hi, my name's Joe. I'm the Managing Director of Chickadee Home and Giftware. So Chickadee started when I left college. I left college with all of the hopes and dreams that everyone leaves college with. I and mean, it was just at the start of the 08-09 crisis. Without loads of experience and without a really good portfolio at the time, I found it really difficult to get work um, as a freelance. So I decided that I would be better at selling something physical. At the time, I guess it was blind arrogance. I just thought, well, I could do this. It was super tough, but I bought a trestle table from b and I painted it, made it look really shabby chic. And I just took it to school fates and I took it to uh, market fairs and things like that and just started selling some of the products. I didn't know what I was doing. I, didn't, I wasn't making any money, um, but I was learning quite a lot of important lessons and from that we grew into a little kiosk in the walkway of a shopping centre. Uh, so my girlfriend's helped me from the start as well as my sister, family. We're in a really f strange but fortunate situation now where most of the business is now family members. So we're fortunate enough to now have six stores in the UK um, and we're also wholesaling. We've just signed a deal with ASOS to supply those, those guys which is fantastic for us their audience is, is the same as our audience. My favorite product is uh, our espresso martini scented range. I know for me anyway, when I go out with my friends now, we used to be lager drinking lads. And now we're kind of sitting there with a blanket over our laps having an espresso martini. So I just thought that's, it's a really fun product. So another area that we're trying to tackle at the moment is plastic, you know, so we've just signed up with Plastic Bank, which is a really fantastic organization, which means we can pay to offset the plastic use that we have. Part of why we, we cared so much about what we was doing because actually we could see we were making a difference. When we decided to move into wholesale, we found a way to position ourselves with a USP. So what we decided to do was we decided to pre-price our products. So if a retailer buys it from us and they literally just want to get it out onto the shelf, especially at Christmas, busy times when you just need to be selling, they could do that. I think for small businesses, you're always trying to be aware of what you can do to improve something. It's been an amazing journey and yeah, I, I don't. sometimes I don't quite know how we've got from there to there, but we're here now, so we're just trying to do our best and, and enjoying it.